Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the XPS Updates, the show that brings you all of the hottest information for our fantastic application, Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global, available to you guys on iOS, Android, and Amazon devices. I am your host, Shali, and today we have a mysterious guest. Hello, I'm Shrok. <laughs> I'm producer of Final Fantasy Brave XBS Global Version. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> We're very yeah. much in the spirit today, as you can see. We're very excited. Yeah. So I'm sure that many of you can wait for the, the end of this month. Right? That is correct. Mm. I mean, Halloween is my favorite time oh, yeah. of the year. So, happy mm. Halloween for, you know, to all of you guys. If you don't celebrate, then that's OK, too. Mm. But it is definitely. The year, <laughs> the time of the year that excites yeah. me the most, so. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. I'll put off this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, Shari, uh, uh -huh. you really enjoy the playing FFB. Right? I love FFB, so, yes. So, uh, to answer your expectation, mm -hmm. we will hold another Halloween event. Yes! Yes! Yes. I love FFB and I love Halloween, so when those two things combine, <laughs> I am a very, very, very yeah. happy player. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out from Dassel. Okay. On to you. Hello, welcome back. I am Dassel from the FFB team, and as usual, I will be bringing you the new spooky information up concerning the new units and the new events. Yes. Um, this time, I uh, would like to get it out uh, beforehand that mm -hmm. we're taking the video a bit early and mm -hmm. some of the details um, we we're talking about might be subject to change. But in that case, um, we'll, we'll take extra caution to let you know what uh, changed from this, what, what we were talking about in this video. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that disclaimer goes, I think, with every video that we make because mm. we try to release the news earlier than when the product is actually finalized, yeah. but we try to be as correct as we can at yeah. that point in time. So hopefully not much changes, but as you already mentioned, if something important does change, then mm -hmm. we will try our very best to make sure that that is communicated to everyone. Mm -hmm. But it's Halloween! It is it my is favorite Halloween. time of the year! <laughs> We're in the spirit! Look at this! Yeah. I'm so excited, <laughs> but... <laughs> The ghosts are excited. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the units that are coming to FFB for Halloween this time? So, um, first of all, uh, let me start about with the event. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for Halloween, we're actually going to have a King Mog, Mog event. Mm -hmm. And you will be able to collect event currency as usual and exchange these for exciting new abilities and equipment mm -hmm. or the usual tickets as tickets, uh, trust moogles, etc. Mm -hmm. And the new units as well as the older Halloween units are going to get a bonus to going, they're going to get bonus to the um, event currency that you're collecting from the events. So awesome. if you have those, lucky you. Yeah, use them. Make sure that you have them all in your party so you can not only show them off, but get that bonus racked up. Mm -hmm. Okay. To celebrate Halloween, mm -hmm. we are going to get not one, but two mm -hmm. five to seven star two. units. And I'm going to start out with a tank, five to, st five to seven star tank, mm -hmm. Lilith, a very cute uh, succubus demonish unit. Mm -hmm. And her stats and kit is, are going to lean somewhat more on magical tank, mm -hmm. like uh, Rain or Chao, mm -hmm. but she is going to have on-demand AOE cover for both magic and physical damage. Oh, she's so, just like an inverted bash. Yeah, so she's going to be a Halloween version of bash. Okay. And on top of her tanking skills, she, she's going to have a really wide variety of utility skills, such as self-barrier and re-raise self-damage mitigation and healing through her LP. And the interesting thing about her is that she's going to be a dedicated tank, but at the same time, she's going to be able to support your damage deal dealing cap capacities with her damage dealing, dealing kit. Mm. And even though she's a tank, sh you can expect some amount of damage from her because her damage is actually going to depend on her spirit, not her attack or defense oh. stat. So that's going to be really 
that will be useful. Yeah. Because as a, you know, tank mm -hmm. spirit stat actually <laughs> matters. So yeah. if it was tax parameter, then it probably wouldn't matter. Indeed. And even though you're probably going to equip her with a shield, you don't have to worry too much about her offensive side because she's she actually has double abilities for her attack base uh, attacking abilities. Mm -hmm. So even with a shield, you can tra um, you can attack as if you were dual wielding. And speaking of dual wielding, um, her attacks have. Her, her attacks can chain pretty well with some other units mm -hmm. and one of the really unique things about her is that on her counters she's going to have a multi-hitting counter which is indeed going to chain with certain other units mm -hmm. and that's going to be really interesting as uh, I don't th think it's going to be like the main meta, but mm -hmm. it, it's going to be really useful in certain si situations su such as um, getting through thresholds and whatnot. Right. And the second new unit mm -hmm. is going to be a demon called Lucius. Mm -hmm. And Lucius is going to be a physical dual wield attacker who is going to excel in first weapons. Oh, but don't get me wrong, he does have some um, other equipment. Um, slots as well, so he won't be that uh, restricted. And he is also going to have strengths in dark and fire elements. And Lucius is going to pack quite a punch. He is going to be able to self-attribute dark element or fire, ele fire element. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have weapons specifically in those categories, he can dish out large amounts of either dark or fire or non-elemental non if you, do, you, do, you don't have him equipped with any elemo elemental weapons. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he is going to have some pretty nice chaining cap capacities with chains with Octoslash and chains with uh, Ariel Ray, uh, the lun lunar skill. Mm -hmm. and. An especially strong chaining ability is going to be able to chain with Nyx. But even if you don't have Nyx, mm -hmm. don't worry, because Lilith is actually going to be able to fully chain with this Nyx chain. Okay, so they, that's why you said that they would work very well together. Not only because it's a tank and physical attacker combination, but because their attacks will actually chain to mm -hmm. cause damage. So. And also on top of that, uh, <coughs> he's, he's going to have a counter as well. And this counter is going to be a multi-hit counter. And it's, it's going to have the same frames as Lilith. And if you have two Luciuses or Lu Lucius and uh, Lilith mm -hmm. in your team and their counter counters proc, it's going to be a chain counter. So that's going to bring some interesting things on the table. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't think that that's something that we've really explored in the game just mm -hmm. yet. So it's going to be very interesting when you're a you know, big boss that does a lot of AOE damage. If both of them get hit, they might counter together. And it might be fun to see them like, mm -hmm. like chain through a counter. That's, it sounds <laughs> so, like, I cannot imagine it yet. But <laughs> it, it's really cool that we're exploring like new stuff. Yeah. But um, of, of course, that's not the main strength of Lucius. Mm -hmm. e even if you don't have two Luciuses, even if you don't have uh, Lilith, he is still, both him and Lilith is going to be a very strong physical attacker and a tank respect respectively. Mm -hmm. But just do mind that you can get some extra mileage if you do have that combination. And moving on to some other parts of his kit, you might remember Queen mm -hmm. from Fan Final Fantasy Type Zero. Final yes, Fantasy I Type do. Zero, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you remember Queen, you, you might remember that she had this um, really unique passive that gave her like tremendous, massive amount of, uh, amount of attack buff when she gets to a really low HP. Mm -hmm. Lucius is going to have something that reminds reminds of us of that ability. Mm -hmm. uh, I think her, her ability was Berserk. Mm -hmm. 
if Lucius gets to a low enough HP threshold, he's actually going to give himself a really, really strong attack buff. Uh, attack buff, mm -hmm. and even if you don't have supporters, that's going to help uh, maximize Lucius's damage damage potential. Mm -hmm. uh, not not to say that uh, y you won't need supporters, but consider it more of a bonus, mm -hmm. just in case sort yeah. of scenarios. And uh, yeah, those were our two exciting, spooky new new units. units. Yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, obviously. The, you know, the concept of, of Halloween mm -hmm. is very present in these units, I think, especially with the whole, like, I don't know, you get so close to death and that's when your true power comes out. You know, the yeah. rules come out to play during Halloween. So it, it makes sense. And I'm very excited to see how these units look because I honestly have no idea at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited for their pixel art. I'm very excited for their toolkit. And I'm very excited to see what they can do on the battlefield. So please look forward to them and evolve them to seven stars if you can. Yeah. And on top of that, I mentioned that uh, old Halloween units are also going to get bonuses if you can mm -hmm. um, take them out to the ha Halloween mocking event. Mm -hmm. But that's not all. The older five star Halloween units are actually going to get their seven star awakenings as well. Yes! The and old units come out to play too. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to go into like the full details, but mm -hmm. all of the units are going to get some hefty buffs in order to survive in this new like seven star to see world. Mm -hmm. And just to briefly introduce um, the three units, Demon Rain um, from two years ago. Mm -hmm. He continues being a tank, mm -hmm. but he's going to get super beefy, super tanky. And he, on top of being uh, provoke tank. Mm. He is going to get a uh, AOE physical cover, and he's going to be very, very interesting in that he is going to be our true d double hand tank unit, sort of like Elfride, mm -hmm. but in Rain's in, in Demon Rain's case, he's when he is equipped with only one weapon, he's going to get tremendous bonuses to his defense and spirit. So Very even even without the second weapon or even without a shield, he's going to he's going to make up a, a tank that doesn't need a shield. <laughs> what is this world we live in? You know, only Demon Rain can have such powers. Yeah. That's amazing. And on top of that, he's going to have some utility in the forms of AOE offensive buffs. Uh, so he is definitely something you would like to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And Dracula Laswell. Dracula Laswell. <laughs> Dracula Laswell, also from two years ago, mm. is going to be become a true double hand attacker who comes with innate double, double, uh, double ability. Mm -hmm. And he is also going to get access to triple abilities mm. after his LB. Oh my god. And he he's like a Halloween hero. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, yeah. Halloween hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, he he's actually going to have a quite his his um, equipment slots are actually quite fle flexible. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be quite flexible, and he can actually attru attribute himself with ice, and he has training compute capab. Uh, capacities. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's going to have chaining capacities in when with the Divine Ruination families. And last but not least, we have Grim Lord Sakura from Sakura. one year ago. Yes. And she is going to be pretty impressive in her seven star form. Mm -hmm. Most important, perhaps more most importantly, she is going to get access to triple abilities. If you equip her trust, if you equip her, her own trust master, and she's also going to be really get some surprisingly good supporting cap, cap, capabilities mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> so both on the offensive side and on the supporting side, she's going to be an amazing unit. All the three old but new mm -hmm. Halloween sem semi star awakenings, I'm really really excited about. And if you have them in waiting in your bench. 
good for you. This is your chance to. Yeah, you just need another one. <laughs> All you need is the other one. I mean, of course, <laughs> unless you're going for Super Trustmaster, then you might need more than just one. But, you know, just to get the unit to seven star, most of these were already very excellent units at six star. Like, Demon Rain is known for being like an amazing tank, and Grimlord yeah. Sakura deals amazing mm -hmm. like quantities of damage. So, I cannot wait to see them all at seven star. So these th three units, on top of uh, Lucius and Lilith I've mentioned, will be featured in the summons during the Halloween event duration. And there will be step up for the occasion as well, so... Look be on the lookout. To yeah, the look on the lookout, take advantage of all the ways that we have these units available for you guys, because you're not gonna want to miss getting these beautiful, beautiful Definitely. Halloween global original units. Yeah. Okay, and now let's move on to the new Ability Awakenings. Yes, let's. Who's coming this time? Who's getting their Abilities Awakened? So this time there's quite a number of units who are getting Ability Awakenings. Mm -hmm. um, well, the Halloween units w uh, on top of some other units. Mm -hmm. um, Illusionist, Nickel, Pirate Jake, Rubicante, Cagnasso, William, uh, Chloe, mm -hmm. Grimlord Sakura and Barbarcia. And we're, exp we're especially uh, excited about Grimlord Sakura and Barbarcia because Grimlord Sakura will be getting her 7 star form, and Barbarcia also got her 7 star treatment this month. Mm -hmm. And yeah, time to show off some OP wind magic. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's exciting that not only the Halloween units get seven star um, awakenings, but they also get ability awakenings on top of that. So you, you get everything that could be good <laughs> all in like one tiny nice like jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, like it's like Christmas, but, but it's Halloween. Because Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is better, <laughs> in my opinion. I've always said this since like the beginning of time and this is why I love Halloween. So you guys look forward to those. Yeah. Now that we got exciting new ability awakenings, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seven star awakenings and and seven star awakenings and ability <laughs> awakenings and new units. Uh, we, we're going to need somewhere to test out those awesome powers, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we are going to have new bosses. Yes. So there's going to be two new bosses. Well, strictly saying, two new bosses. Mm -hmm. And one of them is going to be Scorn of the Marching Beast. Um, we are really, really sorry that it was we we couldn't we couldn't make it on time that we um, earlier announced. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's it's going to come out after this video, and we would like to take this opportunity to apologize for the delay. But March of the uh, Scorn of the Marching Beast mm -hmm. is going to be. Very similar to the original uh, March, March of the, of the Beast, Beast, in that it's going to be an extremely long battle with nine bosses in total, put it all crammed into one challenge. Mm -hmm. And each of those bosses are going to be super, super, super buffed up compared to the original version. And you are going to you're going to need a very well prepared team. Um, well-prepared team for many different uh, situations in order to successfully navigate through this challenge. But if you do manage to uh, get through all the all nine bosses, you will be rewarded with the powered up version of Demon Mail, Demon Mail Plus, mm -hmm. and as well as some other goodies if you manage to clear the missions as well. And the second new boss will be a Chamber of Arms challenge mm -hmm. uh, with the name of Shaola. Shaola. So Shaola is well. Shaola is going to be. It's, she's going to need some. She well, them. That they. they? <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain, but basically Shaola is like one entity, but the entity mm -hmm. itself is like two bug sisters. Mm -hmm. And the whole like battle through, they're like talking to each other and whispering. They're like, hey, don't you think blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and so 
<laughs> we honestly don't know. We should just call them Shaola or like Shaola is like, I don't know. Sha it gets Sha weird. Li. Yeah, yeah. Shaolai. <laughs> like if you know the plural of Shaola, please let us know because we don't know. But yeah, continue. <laughs> so Shaola mm -hmm. is going to bombard your team with a lot of status ailments, a lot of conventional status ailment mm. and charm on top of that. So it's, she's going to need some preparation and she's also going to hit you with uh, a preemptive strike. So your team will need to be prepared for that. But during the actual battle itself, after the initial, uh, initial attack, um, Shaola is going to be vulnerable to attack and magic breaks. So if you have strong breakers, uh, now sure chance to have them shine and if you do manage to beat the boss you're going to get a very potent one-handed mm -hmm. instrument yeah. called Gaia Bell yes. which is going to net you tons of spirit and some earth resistance to top it off yes so please do be pre prepared for those new bosses uh, if you manage to beat them already good for you I mean, I, th I think a lot of our players really rush to have them done like on the very first day and mm -hmm. th it's great that mm -hmm. you guys have like such like preparation skills and the appropriate units for you guys to be able to do this, but don't mm -hmm. feel rushed like they're there for like ever so you can just come back again and you know do the missions that you missed out this time the next time and just you know take your sweet time just know that the battle the challenge is there yeah. just waiting for you to come and claim your right as a true hero. Yeah. So look forward to that. Q and the corner. We received a ton of questions from you. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank as you. Always. So I and Daso will answer your question as usual. Mm -hmm. Yes, and today mm -hmm. we have two questions, and more than questions, they're kind of like general concerns mm -hmm. uh, from the community. So let's get right to them. Mm -hmm. The first one is. A concern that has been around for a while, yeah. and it is about getting perhaps another way to connect your account uh, to some kind of cloud uh, service that is not Facebook. Yeah, yes. How are we moving forward with that? So, yeah, yes. Uh, regarding the alternative way to uh, save the game account mm -hmm. uh, in, instead of the Facebook, mm -hmm. mm, it's been still under development. So we are very sorry to keep you waiting, mm. uh, but please wait a while. Mm. Mm. I mean, of course, if we're making something as important as this, it has to be done properly. We yeah. don't want to mm. take any risks. We don't want it to be dangerous for the yeah. users and their information. Mm. So it's going to take a while to make some kind of alternative that is secure enough to you know, promote to everyone else. Mm. So right now it is still under development, but at least know that it, it is moving forward. It's just going to take a little bit more time for us to yes. get there, but yeah. it's it's on its way. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then our second concern here by the community is that, you know, with the new seven star meta, mm -hmm. a lot of gil is being invested <laughs> into, you know, <laughs> evolving six star units yeah. into seven star units, mm -hmm. which yeah. cost a lot, a lot a of lot. gil. Yeah. <laughs> and because of that, um, mm -hmm. a lot of us, myself included, are kind of really shying away from the expeditions because the expeditions are quite costly mm -hmm. in Gil. Yeah. And it's kind of, we're in this space where we kind of have to choose one or the other. Do I want to do expeditions or do I want to save my Gil to be able to get a seven star? Mm -hmm. So are we going to be facilitating, you know, expeditions in the future? So about the um, expedition Gil cost, mm -hmm. I don't... F so. Um, we, we do understand that uh, the guild economy mm. is, well, a lot of players are ha yeah. having mm. troubles with uh, the guild in that they need a fortune to awaken mm. new units mm -hmm. and they have to also spend it on the expeditions mm. and we don't want to be like too prohibiting like w we, we want you to enjoy your seven star units if you have and we, we don't want you to be like restricted because mm. like it just costs like gil. Yeah. But um, I, I don't think we will be um, 
outright getting rid of the guild costs, but mm. we are definitely concern, c considering how we can get more guild out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have any answers at the moment, mm -hmm. but um, we will be discussing mm -hmm. this with yeah. the rest of the operations team. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, more than reducing any cost, it would be about facilitating ways for our players to get more gil more easily. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they can afford anything that they wish. Because I think, yeah, the main problem at the core is that now we just need more of it. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. need to be able to somehow get more of it in, you know, like an easier way to be able to afford all of these seven stars. Because everybody wants a seven star, yeah. but not mm -hmm. everybody can afford one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard enough getting the other five star and then having to have like three million gil on top yeah. of that <laughs> to be able to evolve it. So I, I understand. I feel your pain. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on it. Yeah. So Again, hopefully soon. Don't um, take mm -hmm. um, what, what I'm saying right now as the definitive answer, mm -hmm. but we will be talk, talking about this mm -hmm. uh, thoroughly mm -hmm. and be updating you if we do have a solution to mm -hmm. this issue. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, thank you for answering those questions. Mm -hmm. And remember to leave some more questions in the comments below on this video so that we can feature them on the show next time. We love hearing from you, so we'll be awaiting all of your questions. Mm -hmm. Fan Art Corner! Yay! Yes. So we received many of your wonderful fan art. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. It's always so lovely seeing all of these works of art from our mm. players that spend, you know, their free time making this to show their love for FFBE. Mm -hmm. And today mm -hmm. we have three wonderful pieces that yeah. we want to share with mm -hmm. you guys mm -hmm. and they will be showing on screen now. Yeah. All right, congratulations to all of our winners and thank yeah, you so thank much you for so submitting much. your wonderful artwork. We mm -hmm. also have a very special yes. piece of artwork that Indeed. we got from a player who mm -hmm. brought it to PAX West, I believe. Yes. Yes, his name is Cornelio Gomez and he actually is the first place winner mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. Final Fantasy Brave XVS Best Second Anniversary Greetings mm -hmm. Community Event. Look at this wonderful this piece of art. This master. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you I so much. This. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. It's made out of like beads. I think you mm -hmm. heat this up so that they um, like stick together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have, of course, the most famous trio of all mm -hmm. of FFBE. We have Last Wolfina and Rain, the main characters of the game, saying happy anniversary to FFBE. So happy anniversary once thank again. You, thank happy you very much. Us. We love celebrating <laughs> with you guys. And thank you so much thank for this so lovely much. piece of work. Of course, if you have any more artwork to share with us in the future, whether it be 2D or 3D, something like this, you, mm. you know, you dressed up as your favorite character, you got a tattoo of a favorite character, whatever it is, <laughs> please let us know, let submit us know. it so that we can feature it on the show and mm. we'll be hoping to see it yep. next time. All right, and I'm kind of sad because it's time mm. to end this wonderful Aww. Halloween special of XVS updates, mm. but do we have anything else that we want to share before we go? Yes, although it come on end, mm -hmm. uh, but I actually have another collaboration announcement. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yes. exciting. So, does, does everyone know the Barky profile? Of course! Oh, of course. Barky profile yeah. is a PlayStation 1 era classic legendary game. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, the, the, now the Barky profile Lena is released in the Smart on smartphone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, everyone can uh, download from the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the collaboration with Valkyrie Profile Lenef, mm -hmm. oh, the collaboration everyone's been waiting <laughs> for. I know. I mean, it is one of those games that really brings out the nostalgia. If you've been playing RPGs for a while, or at least like the same time that I have, like Valkyrie Profile was one of those that was on my list that I had to play. I never got around to playing mm -hmm. it, but I always wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that lots of people have played it and have very fond memories of it. So now yeah. that it's come to FFB, I'm sure that a lot of our <laughs> players are going to be very happy that this is happening. Yeah, like tears in my eyes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. our, our collaboration mm -hmm. with Valkyrie Profile Lenef is going to start on October the 26th mm -hmm. up to November the 11th. Mm -hmm. Five. A total of five new units will be joining. Mm -hmm. Lenef, Freya, and Grim will be joining as five to seven star units. Mm -hmm. 
and Lucien is going to be our four to six R unit, and Jalandra. Jalanda. No, Jalanda mm. is going to be. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's going to be our three to five star unit. The event itself is going to be a raid event with mm -hmm. uh, extra strong trial boss against trial boss battle against a mysterious unit, a mysterious character from Bulg Bulg the Balgu profile uh, series mm. is also going to be featured. So look out for both the raid and the trial and all these exciting new units. Yes, and so that means that October is going to be filled with all <laughs> sorts of exciting stuff. All Not only is the exciting. Halloween event happening, yeah. but also the Valkyrie Profile mm. event is happening at the same time. Amazing stuff. Yes. Yeah, oh. indeed. And the Valkyrie Profile, uh -huh. Renas, uh, will discount. Discount, oh. will discount uh, during the uh, collaboration. Okay, so yeah. even more stuff to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I keep telling you guys that Halloween is the best time of the year. People yeah. don't believe me, but it is. I'm telling you, yes. it's the it best is. time of the year. The and I'm so looking forward to it. We're all very excited for all of these things to come. Hopefully you guys are too. And we'll be seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you. Happy Halloween. Uh, yeah.